Hello everyone and welcome back to Deb Chanel's What Is World. Yes, I've been gone, but I'm back. Okay, let's deal with that. All right. Everybody should be happy because I'm happy myself. All right, I'm coming by to just stop to tell you that we are going to be paying homage or homage to Miss Precious Harris. Nobody's really out there doing anything or saying too much about her, but I'm sure T.I. and Tiny and the rest of the gang, Family Hustle gang, are missing this young lady right here. Precious Harris, 66 years old, died on, I believe it was the 22nd of February. Um, getting this information from Atlanta Black Star, title reads, T.I.'s sister Precious Harris passes away after car crash. I'm thinking how that car crash happened around Valentine's Day. And I guess they just kept on a respirator or whatnot, you know, trying to see if she'll come back being conscious uh, on this side of the world as we know it. But um, I guess they just felt that she wasn't going to be, you know, anything. Uh, or she wasn't going to have a miraculous type recovery. Uh, maybe she was going to be brain, brain dead or something to that effect. Really don't know. But I'm going to pick up where... Um, the Atlanta Black Star is telling the information that um, was reported on the 22nd of February. They say Precious Harris, the sister of rapper T.I., died on Friday in the aftermath of her car accident last week. The 66-year-old daughter, Kamaya Chapman, announced the devastating news on her Instagram on February 22nd in commemoration of her mother writing from my best friend on earth to my beautiful angel in heaven. I love you so much. That must have come off of her daughter's Instagram account. They have a lovely, um, nice picture of her mom in a little floral type dress looking all fancy. And it goes on to continue. She continued, I'm so heartbroken, but the way you looked so at peace this past week has confirmed that you are resting. No more asthma attacks. And then she uh, says, damn, but baby, I am going to miss you. On Wednesday, February 13th, Harris, meaning Precious Harris, was involved in a serious car accident that led to her being hospitalized. Details of the accident remain unknown, but TMZ, that's a um, newscasting type station for celebrities, sources say she crashed into a pole, which triggered her to have an asthma attack. She was taken to a local hospital here in Atlanta and placed in intensive care. The status of Harris condition remain unknown, but sources close to the family told the news outlet that she's been on life support uh, uh, si um, saving techniques since the day of the accident, and she has been remained unresponsive. Um, then it goes on to say, so another beautiful picture of her in a black and white dress says news of the 66-year-old death was initially leaked by their family friend, Shekana Joe Anderson. We all know Shekana, right? The hairdresser and best friend to um, Tiny Harris. I don't know if they're friends as we speak now. Maybe they're trying to reconcile through this tragedy um, that the families was faced with, with losing Precious. Don't know. Hopefully they get it together and they come back on the same accord where they were, uh, were their back friends. Um, anyway, she leaked a little information, uh, Shekana Joe, before the family released a statement. She shared and now deleted tribute to Harris saying, friend, I can't believe you're gone. I love you forever. This, I'm thinking she wanted to say shit, just hurt me. And then she has, uh, an ad Kamaya plug. I'm so sorry. I mean, telling I guess Precious Harris' daughter that she was sorry of hearing of her mother's passing. The Harris family, or a tight knit family, and T.I. and his wife Tiny Harris appeared devastated by Precious' accident last week. And he goes on to his Instagram page, meaning T.I. Tip, Trouble Man, Hustle Man, uh, Rubber Band Man. However, y'all want to get down with him. Uh, his notoriety. He said, "We love you dearly, baby girl, the Trouble Man." Rapper posted on Instagram with a photo of himself and, and sister on Thursday, February 21st. Since the reporting of Precious Death, T.I.'s 17-year-old daughter, Deja, Deja Harris, shared a photo of herself and her aunt on an Instagram Friday afternoon saying that she will forever be celebrated. 
and that is true. We have to let our um, deceased relatives, family members leave us, but they never do. Uh, as long as we got clear thinking and our mind is intact, our brain has a resource of memories just archive for us to go and play through our memories as when we tend to think of them. So that is true. Okay, then it's, um, the article goes on to say the Harris family decided to halt production last week for season two of Friends and Family Hustle after learning of the 66-year-old mother's car crash. T.I. was reportedly waiting for his sister to pull through to continue filming, but as we know, she actually passed or they took her off the respirator machine uh, that was keeping her alive uh, on the 22nd, I believe. So prayers and blessings and, and, and all condolences out, you know, from my family to theirs. I know what it is to uh, lose a loved one tragically. Um, lost my aunt uh, this past November last year, just outright had a heart attack. You know, couldn't really understand why, but it's not for us to understand why. We just grieve in our own ways and we move on because we are all souls, we're vessels, we're spirits that the Lord has given to each one of us uh, as gifts. And when he wants his gifts back, he tends to come and take them. And we are left with memories and solace that we, they, we know they've gone to a better place. Um, so my condolences goes out to the Harris family. May they continue to be uplifted in uh, Christ's love and mercy and grace he does give to everyone if we only receive it. Um, I just want to do this tribute to her because she seemed like a nice lady every time I did catch the family hustle or I saw something on TV or, you know, any type of uh, advertisement they were giving me and she was with the kids and and I'm like, oh, have mercy. I don't know how she's taking care of helping trying to take care of all them kids. Oh, Lord. But I'm sure she was there for every last one of them. Uh, Deja, um, the oldest daughter that's been there for a minute. I can't think of her name right now. Uh, but y'all know Tiny's oldest daughter. Uh, let me see. Damani. And Miss Aris, they had brought to the family. She didn't get a chance to know her as much as the other kids, um, you know, could have or should have. But, you know, it just was her time to go. And that's, you know, pretty much it. But um, pr prayers and blessings go up to them. And y'all reach out through the video and, you know, make sure y'all give them prayers and, and comfort uh, blessings to go up for them because they don't definitely need it. Uh, whenever they put her to rest and then time on after that. Okay. But like I said, I wanted to do it because, you know, she was just like a, seemed like a cool spirit, you know, very loving and, and, and trying to keep T.I. settled, you know, grounded and whatnot. And, you know, she just brought a lot uh, to the filming of their show. And uh, I'm sure they are going to miss her. But, you know, hey, she's not suffering anymore. She don't have to take this crap that we have going on in our lives and all these worries and, and, and uh, frustrations we go on. You know, the body just kind of do what it want to do when you get up in age. And she was 66. But I'm sure she had some pains and aches here and there, you know. And she don't have to worry about that no more. She just rests, rests, rests. And she could be an angel to come back and, you know, in another form or just looking out for a family members, you know, because we all need that extra help, that extra pair of eyes, that extra pair of arms to help us, you know, uh, pick us up when we're feeling low and, and we're feeling troubled. You know, spirits tend to do that. They with you. You know, I feel my aunt spirit with me, you know, and when I'm feeling low, I'm feeling confused and just frustrated and angry sometimes about her not being here and thinking she should be here. But who am I going to order with the lower? You know what I'm saying? When he wants his folks back, he wants his folks back. And we just got to come to understand this. You know, he always saying about be ready, you know, going to take one, leave one. But, you know, <sighs> it's just a hard thing when you spend 50, for me, 50 years with her, and it was a lot, and that's why I kind of not did YouTube, and I, you know, just really not trying to focus on knowing that she's not here with me, but yet I will always have her in my heart, 
So today we celebrated her 77th birthday. Uh, went out and ate, had a good time, went to the grave, and bought her flowers and a little pinwheel. You know, the little thing you stick in that has like a flower or butterfly and just be turning with the wind. You know, kind of like a wind chime, but it don't make no sound, just spins. So, you know, it was it was a good deal, you know. But um, when you live with a person and they're not in your household and they share the household with you uh, for a very, very long time, you know, you just look at things to make you remind you of them. But, hey, we're all souls. We're, we're spirits. And we're not going to be here one day. So we just got to keep telling our loved ones every day you get a chance to. When you wake up, God bless you to wake up in the morning. You know, say you love them. You know, give them hugs. Give them kisses. You know, so they'll know when you're no longer here that they were loved by you. You know, you were loved by someone. So that's all I got. Y'all enjoy the video. Keep uh, yourself safe. Stay prayed up. Tell people you love them. You know, I love y'all. Don't know y'all, but anybody that take a chance to, you know, look at my videos and whatnot, you know, may leave a comment, may not leave a comment. You know, I'm thinking you care about me too. Okay, at least you came to the channel to see what I was talking about. I was worth a click. So I thank you for that. So peace and blessings to you all. And be safe and come back for the next um, YouTube video I put out. I don't know what it's going to be. You know, who knows? Whatever may spark me. But y'all take care of yourselves. Good night.